Good evening and welcome to the Leather Journey. Uh, I would say about midsummer, uh, one of our subscribers commented uh, in the comments on uh, the Dragon Tail video um, if I would be willing to do a video to show how to make a a dragon tail from at home. Uh, you can buy them from vendors. It's, it's like most things that are crafted and vended in the lifestyle. Uh, you're going to pay a considerable markup when you buy it from a vendor over a home project. So this is the home project version of building a dragon tail. And there's a number of different ways to approach it. I'm just going to show you uh, a couple of ways that you can do it and then you can experiment around on your own at home and uh, and see if you like my design or if you, you if you can improve on my design please do so uh, be sure to leave comments in the comments below and like and subscribe the video so first I'm going to go over the materials that we're going to use then we're going to take a break while I do some work behind the scenes and we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish up the project. First, you're going to need to source some leather. Now you could go to Tandy or another leather supplier uh, and buy uh, garment grade leather, <clears throat> but this is a home project. So what I did is I went to uh, a thrift store, went to Goodwill and I was looking for a leather skirt a uh, leather dress or a leather coat. I ended up finding a, a duster uh, made out of genuine leather. And I was looking for an XL or an XXL because the larger the garment, the more the leather that's in it. So for our project, hopefully I can even get more than one dragon tail out of this. So I sourced the duster when I cut away from the video, I'm going to be removing the liner, uh, deconstructing it, trying to come up with a couple of large rectangular pieces of leather for our project. And the other things that you're going to need is um, need something for a handle. I just went to Home Depot and bought a three quarter inch dowel. <clears throat> you, you, I recommend you. You could use a broom handle, a shovel handle, you know, anything laying around that, that's wood that could be made into a handle. The dowel wasn't very expensive. I think it was around $4. And I cut that dowel into a number of pieces. Uh, I'm going to see how many dragon tails I can make out of this duster. Hopefully I can get more than one out of it. But in choosing the diameter for my dowel, one of my considerations was you're going to be wrapping several layers of leather around this. So I didn't want a dowel that was comfortable in my hand because that, that diameter is going to grow. So I picked a dowel that was a little smaller than what I would be comfortable with, knowing that after I build the dragon tail, the handle is going to be thicker. If I started with a thicker handle that's comfortable to start with, then after, as I'm building the dragon tail, the diameter is going to get bigger and it might be too chunky for what I was looking for. So a three quarter inch dowel, cut it in, uh, oh, I don't know, probably six inch or so long sections. I've got a pair of leather shears and a pair of regular scissors. Uh, we're going to need a hammer at some point and I'm going to be using uh, upholstery nails or upholstery tacks to secure my leather when I'm done. You could use glue. Uh, if you use glue, I recommend something like a rubber cement. And we're going to need a straight edge. Tonight I'm going to be using uh, a steel yardstick, but a wooden yardstick. Uh, any kind of straight edge that can help you draw and cut a straight line is going to be helpful. So that's it for the introduction. We're going to cut away. I'm going to deconstruct this coat and hopefully come up with a couple of pieces, good pieces of leather that we can construct a dragon tail out of. Okay, we're back uh, to continue on with our 
uh, how to make a dragon tail at home project. So I deconstructed this duster and what I have here, I'm not gonna throw it away just yet, but the front panel had a little too much going on. There was, you know, pockets to deal with, there's buttons. Probably gonna remove these large buttons and save them. And I'll probably save the front uh, right and left panel uh, and see if I can come up with another leather project. There was some surprises as I took this duster apart. Uh, you, you never want to throw, a, you know, as a leather man, you never want to throw away a piece of leather if you can find a use for it. Well, this duster had a leather belt with a buckle. I don't know, that kind of looks like that could be a bondage strap or used as a bondage strap. Then uh, around each cuff, there was, uh, there was a little wrist belt so that you could tighten the cuff up and keep the cold wind out in the winter time. Well, I don't know. That kind of looks like a wrist or ankle restraint. Uh, in a pinch, we could, uh, we could use that for a bondage restraint. So I'm not gonna throw that away. Uh, the back of the coat had a flap that, was, that allowed uh, the coat to breathe. So I cut that off and I'm not going to do it in this project, but I think that's a large enough piece of leather to make a smaller dragon tail that might be 12 to 14 inches long. Uh, but we're going to save that and try to make a smaller dragon tail, as was the sleeves when I took the sleeves apart. I've got two pretty nice sized pieces of leather here that I think will make smaller dragon tails. But we're going for hopefully a three or four foot. Uh, I'll show you how to measure to exact length, but I'm not actually going to do that project that way. I'm going to build this project to where the tail's as long as it can be, given the piece of leather that I'm working with. So I ended up finding a pretty large piece of back panel, the back panel off the jacket uh, that we're going to be able to use and hopefully, well, we'll get one dragon tail out of it. I'll do some measurements. We might even be able to squeeze two out of it, but definitely we're gonna get one good dragon tail out of it. So um, that's it for the deconstruction of leather. I'm gonna cut away and get set up. I have to change my camera angle, get set up and show you how I'm gonna lay this out to be cut. Okay, we're back. We're back and I'm going to show you how we're going to lay this out. Um, as with anything, uh, this wasn't a pristine piece of leather from Tandy. This is actually a coat that we've repurposed and we're going to make into a convertible uh, with our homemade dragon tail project. So I used first the dowel handle to measure about how far down to make this initial cut that I made. And I, you know, just to visualize, I rolled this dowel over and over and over till I got it to about the thickness I wanted it to be in my hand. And then I cut a straight line down and used the dowel itself to measure how long this cut should be. In fact, I'm gonna make it just a little bit longer. So then, the next issue was, we've got a center seam, we can't do anything about that, but the tail split at the end of the coat, I don't want that to be part of my dragon tail. So even though this is big enough to make two, I'm probably only gonna make one out of it because I don't wanna have to deal with that tail split. Just to keep it together, I taped it closed with a piece of duct tape so it would lay cleanly and then we're going to take uh, at, the, at the bottom of this straight cut where the handle ended, we are going to run a diagonal all the way to the corner of our leather. And that is going to be the point tip of the dragon tail when we finish our project. So the next piece of this, and I'm a little nervous, I don't want you to watch me cut it, but I'm going to 
come off camera and make that cut down that diagonal. And when I'm done, we'll come back. All right, we're back and we've made our diagonal cut. Uh, this piece of leather I'm gonna save. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet. Might be able to make a smaller dragon tail and avoid this tail split, but we'll see. So, uh, I want the top grain to be on the outside of my tail. I suppose you could do a tail where the suede's on the outside, but to be honest, I've never seen a dragon tail uh, made that didn't have the top grain on the outside. So we're gonna flip it over so that the suede is on the inside. And we're gonna start with a long piece of the tail and we're just gonna roll it around the handle and roll this tail up to form a dragon tail. And we'll see how it turns out. This is our home project together from my home to yours. All right, my handle. Uh, okay, looks like the top line of this leather isn't straight. So let's trim it a little bit and straighten it up. this here. Just do a quick trim and try to straighten that edge up a little bit because that's the way it was when I initially deconstructed it when I cut it out of the coat. All right, now let's see if this is going to be a little better. So we put our dowel down here and let's roll this tail. Trying to keep it as straight and as tight as I can when I roll it. So if we had a pretty colorful piece of leather, you'd be able to see the dragon tail better. Uh, we're gonna give you a close-up view here in a minute. But once we get it wrapped and wrapped tight, as tight as we can, we're gonna tack it in place. And of course, I didn't have my tacks open before I started the video, so you get to watch me struggle with the container here and grab the tack. Now you can glue this handle in place. I'm going to tack it just for the purpose of the video. I'm thinking probably glue and tack would be better in the long run. There's one. Part of this is punching a hole through the leather. So that might be a lesson learned. If you've got a leather punch, you might want to pre-punch your hole so that the tack doesn't have to deal with the leather, just the wood. Okay. Now, I'm not going to bore you, but obviously with a, an upholstery tack, we could tack 
all the way around and make an ornate ring. I could come farther down the handle and I probably will uh, at the base of the handle and I could put another ornate ring. Uh, you could do a number of things to embellish the handle, but I'm gonna get up close and give you a look at it. What you have is a, is a dragon tail that's rolled and it ends in a tip and uh, I'll change my camera angle and throw it for you so you can see how it looks. Back, we finished up our home dragon tail project and I'm gonna bring it up and give you a close look. Uh, I put a few more tacks around top of the handle and the bottom of the handle. Uh, if I, uh, there's a little technique to putting uh, upholstery tacks in, I discovered. You kind of have to be willing to put a finger and a thumb under it as you start hitting with the hammer. So I got better as I went. Uh, if I was going to do this project over, I'm sure these would look a whole lot nicer. Uh, the reality is it's a home crafted dungeon toy and in a dim lit dungeon, when you're holding this handle, nobody's going to really be focused on whether you got the tacks in perfectly straight or not. So without further ado, this is the close-up of the handle. Uh, it's important to get this top uh, line cut straight so that the handle rolls in straight. And then you've got uh, the rolled up dragon tail ending in a point. Let's see how it throws. So we'll do a bow and arrow over the shoulder, uh, Ford figure eight. and horizontal okay so i'll say there are trade-offs with a project like this a well-made dragon tail by a vendor that uh, is skilled in making these uh, the dragon tail is going to have a better core uh, this tail is a little light uh, it will work and yeah, it works fine uh, the vendors i recommend people to and i'll put a link down below they're charging about $199 for a dragon tail. So what did this project cost? Well, so I would say for under $25, I made a home dragon tail uh, and it'll work as a beginning single tail. Uh, so it depends what your budget is for. Save up your pennies and get a quality dragon tail from a dragon tail vendor uh, or do a home crafted project. Now I would tend to think if the piece of leather I used, uh, if I used more leather, if I hadn't had to deal with that, uh, that tail singer, or the tail split, I could have used that whole back of that coat uh, or maybe a whole skirt uh, and had more wraps. More wraps would have given me a thicker core and a little bit heavier tail. This tail is lighter than what I'm used to throwing, uh, but when you're starting out, it's certainly fine. We can almost make it pop, and it's a three foot tail. So as always, thanks for watching uh, our leather journey, and uh, hopefully this home project will give you some ideas on how you can make your own dragon tail at home.